My mom always told me that I was way too hard to handle. I remember I used to burn curtains because I like burning them. Don't worry, that was a long time ago. Now, I'm a changed man. But in this game, it's completely opposite. The kids who are still the future are being haunted and attacked by adults. And if they catch us, they will eat us. This game should have been called cannibalism, but that's too real. So instead they went with little nightmares. Well, this is the second game and it's supposed to be more terrifying. And when I say terrifying, what comes in your mind? No! No! Yeah, none of that exists. This is a game which will not jump scare you, but will make you uncomfortable. Imagine walking in a street at night and suddenly someone with a knife starts running towards you. Dude, that's the most scariest thing of all time. I would run the fuck out. It's something like that, only make it a lot more creepier when a lady can just extend her neck to infinity. My god, how long can you stretch, woman? So welcome to a world where the kids will be going through the city and literally running away from these creepy beings and do something? I mean, initially, I was wondering why am I here? And midway through the game, the story starts opening and as you go towards the end, you do realize there's an actually interesting story going on here. I was shocked. An interesting story? That too in a horror game? W what? Really? It's been a few days and I'm still shocked at what I saw. But don't you worry, that is something that you'll enjoy. So, no spoilers here. The game has divided into different layers where you meet different creatures. And it's not just like you're walking and randomly a music hits. Oh, okay, I guess I gotta run for some reason now. This game actually shows you what you're dealing with, what they are doing, and what type of abilities these things have. And then comes the chase sequences. At one point in the game, I was like, hey, this isn't scary. Just need to run until I was standing alone in the dark room with mannequins. And you know what happens when you're standing in a dark room with mannequins. They start moving behind you. You flash your light and boom, they stopped. And then you turn your light away, they start moving again. If I'm ever in a shop full of mannequins and it's dark, I would not be stepping inside. I will stand in the door. No way I'm going in there, man. By far, that was one of the most scariest moments of the game when those things started moving. You can hear those crackling sounds and that rush of blood that you need to get the hell out of there. So yeah, this world is completely dull and there is no happiness. And the faces of these people are so ugly as if no one has gone on a date in a million years. And all they do is watch TV. Hey, what are you watching? Ah, it's my favorite channel that I used to see when I didn't pay my cable bills. These guys love this channel so much that they will literally jump from the roof just to watch it. Come on guys, it's not like you're watching free porn. When I played the first game, I always wondered how all of this happened and this game gave me the answers to those questions of why and how in the most twisted way possible and also a little bit sad. Also for the first time in a horror game, even if you're a kid, you are given a weapon to destroy other kids' heads. Yeah, this is a very family friendly game, but at least they can protect themselves unlike some other guy who just wants to record on his camera which never breaks. Take a look at this outlast, being an adult sucks. I was so happy to see 6 in this game. I don't think so it goes to be a spoiler because it was shown in a trailer. But yeah, your partner in crime is 6 and she helps. She helps a lot. Overall, it's one of the best horror games that I've ever played with no jump scares, puzzles and moments that are actually scary. And also, it has a twisted and the most interesting story. Give this game a 10 out of 10 already. But I do feel that this game is very underrated. When you take a look at top 10 horror games, I always find games like Outlast to be one of them, but no Little Nightmares. That has every right to be an amazing horror game. I guess people just like jump scares too much. I guess when these ghosts will come for them, the first thing they will do is jump scare you. Because all ghosts love making people jump. And there you go, that's how much I love Little Nightmares too. And if you haven't played any Little Nightmares, I would definitely recommend to play both of these games. Both are really really cool horror games that you might not wanna miss. Well if you really enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up because that helps me out a lot. And also comment down below what you think about Little Nightmares 2 or this video. And do not forget to subscribe for more review videos just like this, more game news and much more. And speaking of game news, check out some of the older videos where I talked about some other game news such as Last of Us getting remastered and much more.